<laughs> but look, let's keep going down the list. We another game we talked about. We mentioned the Liberty game, Liberty, and and you know how will they get to New Year's Six Bowl? Well, they are looking at this other four o'clock game, number twenty-two ranked Tulane, and eleven mm. and one playing ten and two SMU. Um, and look, Tulane's only three point favorites. What I mean. You know, I think last year when we saw what Tulane did against USC and we were all super hyped about them and they came in this year and they haven't got the press, they haven't got the recognition that mm-hmm. maybe they deserved. And quietly, they're 11-1 and one again. They're, I mean, they've built something out there. I mean, yeah. should they be getting more talk? Like, what are we talking about? They absolutely should be getting more. It, it seems like most of the talk this year in college football has just been these top teams. We didn't really get the hype on these lower teams. I mean, outside of Colorado, obviously. Well. <laughs> uh, but any of the, the lesser teams didn't really get that national coverage like Tulane and those kind of schools got last year. So, um, to me, the difference maker in this game is going to be if SMU can stop that running game of Tulane. Yeah. You've got, what's his first name here? Hughes for Tulane. Uh, Makai Hughes. Uh, over 1,200 yards this year. So they've got a steady run game, uh, takes the ball out of Pratt's hands a lot. He's still had a phenomenal season. If SMU can stop the run game and make Tulane one-dimensional, i like them to win this game. You know what? I got, I'm going to go with you on that. I'm going to go with you. Uh, I, and you're know, a little bit biased because I want to see uh, Liberty getting in there. But, yeah. That's SMU- part of my reason. but no SMU I do think um is being uh slept on I think just they're just as good as Tulane and I I mean that offense is something to to be uh talked about so yeah Mm -hmm. I like that 